Hi and welcome back to Mike Makes It. Uh, this is part two of the video for the pneumatic briquette maker. And this is pretty much where we left the last video. Drilled a hole in there for the tube to fit above. Now what I want to do is put the trap door in. This is upside down effectively, but that's what I want to do there. Plate of metal there we'll be able to pull that out, expose the hole and push the briquette through. So I've already cut these on the last video, a couple of plates either side. There we go. A couple of plates will go on the top like that. Bolted on some dirty great big bolts going through because there's going to be a lot of pressure there. And effectively you'll be able to slide this out exposing that. You hit the, the air on the ram, ram will push the briquette through. So that's what we're going to work on today, getting these bolted down to this big plate. All right, that's the plate of metal I've got to drill out now. Four holes in here to marry up with the last plate you saw me drill. Problem with using scrap metal, Sometimes the holes won't line up. You can see there, I've sent a punch to mark there where the 12 mil hole's got to go. Clearly, I'm not going to be able to drill so close to these holes without the drill breaking. So I'm just going to have to open this hole up here, I think, and make do. It, it should be fine. Uh, it's simply clearance for 12 mil bolt. That's all I want. I wasn't going to tap it. It would have been an issue if the, I did have to put a thread in these, but they're purely 12 mil um, holes. So we'll carry on it's just this bit of a pain but nevertheless we've used a bit of scrap metal up so that's good What I need to do now is drop four holes in each of these tubes. These tubes will be mounted to the main frame, but I need them to line up with the holes in this frame I've been working on. So I'll build a little bit of a jig up. Everything should be held into place. Uh, I don't think things are going to move around. We'll find out in a minute, but that's what I'm going to do now. Drill a few holes. So I'll start on the easy one here and see what happens. I've been meaning to say that you get a bit of a weird blue light here. This is because there's uh, an LED ring I've placed under the drill. There's a link to the video on that. It helped to illuminate the area I'm drilling, but on camera it comes over a very blue. So, uh, yeah, apologies. That's through the first one. I'll drop a bolt down here just to lock everything into place. It's wiggling about a bit, but I think we're good. The tubes are staying where they, where I want them. So I'll go drill the other eight, and uh, I'll show you the end result. Well, that went without hitch. Eight holes all the way through. The jig held everything together, which was great. Uh, now I need to do eight holes in this plate. That's the corresponding upper plate for the rams. So I'll, I'll do that off camera. You don't need to watch me do that, I'm sure. Uh, eight holes in that, then half a dozen pieces of tube. So I think I'll cut those off camera as well. You've seen me cut tube before. Um, then I'll slap it together, and that's probably where you're going to come back with it uh, almost assembled fully. Well, the monster's taking shape. It's about seven foot high. Uh, it's too heavy for me to move on my own, so I need some help with that. Not quite finished yet, still waiting for a few parts. And this plate, 12 mil steel plate, and this one down here needs to be painted because there's going to be a lot of water sloshing around um, because when you compress the card, you squeeze the water out of it. Uh, the actuator here is only a two position one, basically piston down, piston up. Now I may want an in between. So on this side, I'm going to add a basically on off switch to the air supply to this actuator. 
That's not turned up yet, so I can't show you that working. But I can show you this going up and down. Got the two pneumatic cylinders there. The cross beam going across into this pot, which we can fill with card. Not today, unfortunately. You look down there, I can open a chute. I don't know if you can see that. Right down the bottom. This pulls out, pushes back in. So the idea, when this filled with cardboard, I'll be able to pull that out, push this ram in again, and it'll pop out the uh, nugget of cardboard on a box in the base there. So, well, we got the air fired up to it. We'll see if uh, we can get the piston to drop down in the hole there. Here we go. It may cock it sideways, yeah, because I've not fully balanced the pistons or the, the actuators, I should say. So uh, we'll see what happens. Well, there we go. And that's the idea. You ram the cardboard down. Comes back up. Push it to one side. More cardboard down the hole there. Line it back up. Hopefully it'll go down one go again. Yeah. So you do a bit of that with the cardboard. And when you've pretty much got it filled, this is a plan where it's a learning stage. Uh, Align that again, open the door. And down for the last time. And the idea is now the briquette will be ejected at the bottom. Well, that's certainly the plan. As I say, there's a couple of bits waiting to turn up. I'll get those. I'll, we'll paint those two plates. We'll mount it out the back of the ice because that's where it's going to go. I'm not going to flood the garage with wood and cardboard. Um, so that's where I'll bring you back once it's all assembled and working and functional. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm afraid we're going to run on to a part three video. That'll only be a couple of minutes just to show you it's working and what the end result is.